hello guys this is Ali welcome to part 2 of this tutorial series in last tutorial we have seen that how can we configure jQuery data table in ASP.NET MEC in this tutorial we will learn how can we apply CRUD operations like create update and delete record so flip to Visual Studio first we will create a button to add new record remove this employee list one VR tag create HTML button type will be button bootstrap classes will be BTN BTN primary and we need to pull right data toggle will be model id will be btn add and the value will be Add employee. Okay, save the changes and refresh the page. We will add margin from top. Okay, now we will add an icon in the button. Create a span tag. We are using font awesome icons. Save the changes and refresh the page. Guys, it's not looking good, so we need to add some space here. Save the changes and refresh the page again and see the result. Okay, now we'll create a bootstrap pop up model. So flip to Visual Studio and at the bottom of the page we will create a pop-up model here
we will change the model title dynamically so we need to specify the id here okay guys i have already typed the code i will just copy and paste it right here to save our time okay now we will invoke the click event of btna to display the pop-up model so copy the id of button dot click copy the model id dot model show save the changes sorry Save the changes and refresh the page. Click on add employee. And if you notice we have some issues. We have an empty title and we have an update button. And when I enter some text in the text fields. And close this window. And reopen this window again the text fields are not empty so first we need to resolve these issues right flip to visual studio first we will clear the text fields copy the id of text field which is txt first name dot well this will set the text to empty right copy this line and paste it the second text field is last name and the third one is salary okay now we will set the model title text so copy the id of model title text add employee now we will hide the update button the id of update button is btn update save the changes and refresh the page click on add employee we have a model title and when I enter some text in the text field and click on save button and reopen this window again the text fields are empty now right after this we will customize the bootstrap pop-up model and we will apply some background color in model title so flip to visual studio we need to write some css for this create a style section here
Save the changes and refresh the page. Perfect. Okay. That's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and watch the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.